everybody, how's it going? This is Doctor Who, this is The Wilderness Years, and this is episode three of Death Comes to Time. You know, watching the first two parts of this, I, I'm just thinking to myself, I really wish they did this more often, especially with the audio dramas, where we get these animations of them, because listening to them is fantastic, but seeing it being brought to life is probably just as brilliant as watching something like Scream of the Shalker, because I don't know what it is, but I've really, really enjoyed this. It's just been like an actual delight to kind of go through it and watch it with these visual aids, and it kind of helps you visualise the story a lot better and it is quite sad that we don't see this happening very often with the audio dramas. If they did more of them I would probably do so many more of these kind of reactions to it because I just think it's a really nice way to get somebody into the story without it just being an audio. I hope at some point in the near future that you know things like this do occur on a more regular basis. I'm loving this so I'm just going to get straight on. Let's Go. You down there. We have you covered. <laughs> you down there. What do you want? Well, I thought we might trade. I brought you a present. Let go of me, you snake. Sir, shouldn't we just go out and capture them both? What's Stephen doing? It could be a trap. We do somewhat outnumber them, Captain. Uh, very well, bring them in. Get off me, you Canadian pig. Take her to interrogation. I've captured the head of the resistance. I'll make major for this. I'm hoping this is part of the Put me through to General Tannis. What are we going to do with the minister? Do with him? We're going to kill him. I love how they have a little intro on it. Welcome to address us, beloved leader, Premier Bedlow. Glory. Oh! Glory. Fellow citizens of the mighty Alpicanus, join me now in welcoming home to the motherland, our beloved defender and conqueror of Saturday. General this kind of looks like it should be something in Wonder Woman. Glory. Glory. Welcome to address us. He just appeared. Tannis, conqueror of the Centauri system. Hello, Canadians. Friends. Thank you. I'm humbled by your kindness, beloved leader. To your words, I say only this. A simple people led astray by terrorists have been brought under our wing and into our glorious family. Let us give thanks. Canis rising. Oh man, these types of, you know, valleys and things oh. never end well, do they? Bedtime is in one hour. Please make your way to your home. That should keep the rabble quiet. You bring glory to us, General Tani. I do like how like, they I do must all tell like, you, the sound effects in these. It's cool. We consider you greatly eligible for promotion. Promotion, beloved leader. How gratifying. General, my dear General, you mock me. If I wanted a promotion, I would take it. Probably. In fact, if I want anything from you, I will take it. You forget yourself, General. I am in charge here. Are you? Insolence! I, I, I would not be defeated or intimidated. Well, almost. You won't be defeated because there won't be a fight. I don't want to displace you as leader. I want you puppeting along exactly where you are, allowing Ooh. me to conquer the universe without having to put up a friendly face. <laughs> and you will be intimidated because I have the loyalty of the army. And I can do what I like, and because you wouldn't want anything to happen to your child. <gasps> My children? But, but, but what have you... Not your children, your child. I, I have two children. What, what, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? Pilot, how many children does our beloved leader have? One, General. But I... You, you couldn't. I, I don't believe you would harm my children. You don't? I rather think you should. Oh, my God. I... Transmission for you from Santony, General. Captain, um, Khan, I believe you have something important to tell me in person. It had better be very important. General Tannis. Let's just zoom in on his lips. Sir, this is a, a great honor. Sir, this is a Captain Khan. Uh, I'm speaking from Arsus Outpost on the Santine Colony, sir. I'm aware of that. The question is why, Captain? I'm pleased to report to you that I have personally captured the leader of the Santine Resistance, Senator Sala. I think it's part of the plan. Sure? Yes, sir. At some personal risk, I, I might add. Uh, what should we do? She just look at like she's in a bit of pain. But leave no marks on her face and don't kill her. Pilot, deal with this. Well done, Captain Khan. Hold her. I will be there to interrogate her personally. As soon as possible. Uh, yes, fleet pilot. Oh dear. Time is rising. Oh hello. Look at that move. I like that speed, well, fella. But that planet wasn't anything like you described. Oh, are these the images from the telescope? Yes. Oh, I quite like them. But what are they? Black holes. What's Red it? Black like? stars. 
The gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. I don't understand why we're so worried about them. Because the only thing that can make them grow like that is a Time Lord misusing his abilities on a grand scale. And that... Oh, that's... Hopefully not Stephen. Something we have to stop at any cost. Yes? Where am I? On the edge. I don't want to be here. Why am I here? It's not me. There's someone behind me. That's never good. Stop pushing me. Why am I you? You, wake up. Get away from the cell door. Further, right to the other side. I was rather enjoying the delights of that. We side. finished with your girlfriend for the time being. What have you done to her? She'll live. You won't. Your schedule for execution. She... Enjoy your remaining time together. Being tortured. I'm all right. I can manage. Here, here. Take my coat. Um, oh. Lie down here. Animals. Unbelievable barbarians. Would it? Would it be possible for you people to go for five minutes without committing an atrocity? What can this sort of degradation possibly achieve? Hey, calm down. I am the one that was tortured. What's wrong with you suddenly? Well, uh, he brought you here. Well, your wrist is broken. We can find that prison camp. It will be worth it. Well, I'm afraid it was necessary to let them take Enough. you. Enough. There was nothing you could do. Stop whimpering like a woman. I will be fine. Um, look away. What? You can't travel far with a broken wrist, can you? No, just look away. What's he going to do? <gasps> How did you do that? Can you do it here too? Uh, no, it's something to be used sparingly. <clears throat> now, we must act quickly. Um, you think the prison camp is a... Did he right? do what he did to us with broken wrist? They're keeping them somewhere. All the dissidents and sympathizers have been rounded up from the cities. So, so what are you going to do? Fill their prisons until they're really fed up? <laughs> no, no. You see, the a dictatorship is that everything is controlled directly from the top. And that means everything can be accessed directly from below. Now, we must be swift. Oh, Sunil! <laughs> What? <clears throat> I'm going to promote you to the rank of captain. How would you like evidence that your Captain Khan is a traitor? Sunil, I'll take the prisoner from here. You wait here and guard the woman. But, but sir, I'm under orders to do... Question my orders again and I'll have you executed for insubordination. Oh, sir. He's a bit now, neurotic, don't isn't try he? anything. Computer. Can is rising, Captain. Access maintenance schematic for Luria Deep Cover Camp. Lower security clearance. Show no detail. Access only. Quickly. Please wait. Captain, would you mind telling me what you're doing? Sunil, how dare you? I ordered you to stay where you were. So you could give a prisoner access to our computers? Oh, oh. You'll be shot for this. No, I'm merely trying to determine whether well, or not the gorillas are going to attack earlier. You've just That's shown cool. him the schematics. Now they know where to attack. No, no, we'll just kill him. He can't get that information to the resistance. I'm afraid I can. Computer. Can is rising. I rather think not. One thousand years. <laughs> No, no! What has he done? Time to run. Who is it? Who's there? Me, Snake. How do you feel about a spot of escape? That's what we want. A wall computer. Why can't we just blow Tannis up? That would make you as bad as him and me worse. That's a line we drew for ourselves long ago. We need to get to him. By my reckoning, the leader of Canis would have got a bit nervous about Canis's overmighty ways. The question is, why hasn't Caesar moved against his Coriolanus? Mm. Against Coriol's... No, 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 nothing like that. I mean, Canis must have something Bedlow wants. Yeah. Or someone. Touch the screen. Canis rising. Please state your inquiry. Let's see. Does Premier Bedlow have a family? Thank you. Just a moment. Options. To auto entry, say one. To detect, say two. For help of people, say one. Short circuited? Temper. Can is rising, citizens? Please come with us. What? Hey, get off me! They said come people were coming. Now. He appears to have introduced a virus to the computer verbally, sir. Oh. How he could do this or how it is possible remains unclear unless he is some sort of android. He's, no, he's just yeah. clever. I'm on route to Santony. I want this minister found, but not approached. That will be difficult. Planetary communications are still down. We only have ship-to-ship -ship comms. Do you know this minister, General? No. 
But I think a lot of people have been looking for him for a long time. From your bed, Lord, I presume. Who are you? What do you want? Tannis has your children. You want your children back? I want your children back. You want Tannis brought down? I want Tannis brought down. No. I can bring Tannis down. Let's join forces. You speak of treason against one of my greatest generals? I... I know nothing of such... You know exactly what I'm talking about. You will walk a tightrope. You will be like other humans, and yet not like them. You will be the same as them, and yet more than them. You will have no grandchildren, nor children, nor a mate. Oh! Bonds of affection between us and them are too great a risk, and the consequences are too dreadful to contemplate. Oh! Things might not go to plan here. Let me a Bedlow. We have something for you. Oh, my son, my son. He's safe and well, unlike Tannis's guards, I hope. Now, you have your son, and I want something from you. I would give you anything if I could. We want the same if thing. If he could. I want to stop Tannis from taking over the universe. I don't know what it is about this, but I just kind of get so lost in it. I don't realise it's like pretty much finished until it's finished. It's interesting to see that. I love that Ace is off on this adventure, doing all of these kind of lessons, and then obviously she's going to this cavern to do her first major test. But it's quite sad that we've got so little of her. We seem to be more kind of focused away from her in this story. So I hope like the next two episodes, we kind of get more insight into what Ace is actually doing, and we get to see what she's doing and spend a little bit more time with her. I think I actually preferred last episode with the whole vampire situation to, to this one, but I did still enjoy this. Seeing the Doctor and I think he's called Antimony go to this place to see the leader whose child had been taken by the General so that he had something to hold over him so he could then get his way, I guess. For the Doctor to be like, let's make a deal. I'll go get your child. You give me the General. But then obviously we've seen that that's gone completely tits up. So I don't even know how we're even going to conclude this story because there's so many things going on. At the same time this is all happening we've got the minister with the senator and there's things afoot there as well and he somehow got a virus into the computer just by talking to her. I genuinely thought he'd just handed her over but it all was part of a plan that he had and I still don't really know what it is he's up to. It's just a complete mystery but I think that's why I'm enjoying it because I'm just like trying to put all these threads together and I'm just confusing myself I think. I may go watch the next episode and I will see you guys later so thank you.